Hey, hey, everyone. How's it going today? How are you guys today? Are you guys all happy, happy? Oh, I have a whole bunch of wrenches in here. I got a whole bunch of wrenches in here. I got Susan. I got Brenda. I got Jill. I got Melanie. I missed you the last few lives. And Jeanne. How, how, how are you guys today? I got three Canadians. And one American. No, two Americans. <laughs> yeah, I think oh, Emily. I think you are Emma. I think you are Canadian. Are you not? I don't know. No, y'all. No, you're American. <laughs> you're American. Or the Americans have just rubbed off on you. That's what I say. That's what I say to everyone. How's everybody doing today? I'm working on my baby doll from uh, Distracted by Diamonds. Thought I'd give it a whirl because I have not done one of their canvases yet. And uh, yeah, it's round. Slow going, guys. Slow going. Diamond painting lately has been slow going for me. I know. I know what's going on with Liz. Yeah. I've been slow tracking everything lately. Lately. So, yeah. It is what it is. So, did anybody watch my video today? I don't know what's going on with my videos, guys. I go on... <laughs> Susan's working on confetti nightmare. <laughs> Looks good on you, Susan. Looks good on you. You were complaining about a chuck and made me dance for it. Now you're going to suffer even more with all this confetti. I do not pity you at all. I do not pity you at all. Um, so I don't know why my comments are always turned off. I try and I put them back on and then they disappear again. And it's really, really ticking me the F off. Yes, I just swore. I said F. <laughs> F off. I don't know why it's doing it. I don't see anything saying, this is the reason why we're turning off your notification. I don't know why they're turning off my comments, but it's really, really, really P, P, P me. Right, 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 the F off. I swore. I swore, guys. Just so you know, I'm really mad. <laughs> Have you guys got that through your head yet? This is mad. This is mad. And I don't know why they're doing it. I really wish I knew. I have a Tim Hortons almost empty iced coffee that I'm drinking. Iced coffee. This is really weird, guys, okay, because my setup now, because... My boyfriend's like, oh, you always watch stuff on your computer and I can't see over your head. So I'm like, fine. I put the computer up on the shelf that this desk has. So it's sitting up there. So now the computer is like off to my side so I can't look at it as I'm doing my live. And I'm just looking in front at my iPad and it's delayed. So I'm like flipping out because I don't really know what I'm doing. See, do are my hands in the, like, I don't know if my hands are in the right position. So yeah, <laughs> this is, this is the dilemma. This is, oh wow, no sympathy here. Nope, you have no sympathy from me. Nope, nope, nope. Hello, Tijuana. How are you today? Um, yeah. It is what it is. So I have lots of confetti too. Look at all my confetti, Susan. Do you hear me crying about my confetti? Like, look at it all. Look at all this confetti here in this little section. <laughs> I got lots of confetti too. See, look. Just joking. It's not confetti at all. But 
It is what it is. It is what it is. So what has everybody been up to today? It is Wednesday. It is halfway through the week. A lot of you are probably excited because that means it's closer to the weekend. But it's not happy for me because I work all weekend. So, yeah. These are my two days off. And the two days that I have off on my long week always seem to go by so fast. So... Alyssa wanted to go pick up her prom dress because it's ready from the alterations. But um, I said, well, I got my wife today. I don't really want to go all the way to London. And, like, she has to buy the dress in the most worst part of London, like downtown London. I hate downtown London. And, you know, she has to get a dress from downtown London where I hate parking and I hate just downtown period because there's weirdos down there and I don't like it and uh yeah I gotta go there tomorrow with her to go pick up her dress so ask me if I'm impressed about that her a thousand dollar later dress that she she's complaining that her bank account's starting to get down because she had to put two she had to put five hundred dollars down on residence so she has, hopefully, hopefully she gets into residence for school next year. Um, she's going to Niagara. It's on Niagara, Niagara on the lake. So she's going there, and she had to put $500 deposit down. She's like, oh, my bank account's draining. And I'm like, welcome to being a grown-up. <laughs> uh, she keeps on complaining. That her bank account's getting low. And I'm like, well, that's what prom and graduation and everything else will do to you. It drowns your, your funds. Working, looking forward to Friday. Flying to Toronto. Oh, we're going to Toronto, Janae. That is nice. And I work all weekend. <laughs> Go figure. Nancy, how are you? So, I don't know. Oh, yeah. The shout outs. The shout outs. I'm like so happy. I should have done the number generator like a long time ago. So many people enter now for the shout out whip of the week. Like, it just brings joy to my heart that you guys all, like, oh, you can see my vape. <laughs> my vape on the screen. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, guys, so bear with me. I am vaping. I'm sorry, but when I talk, I have to vape. I don't vape in my videos, but that's why there's always cut out, cut out, cut out. Not always because of that. Sometimes it's because I take a drink and I don't want to drink. On my weapon chat. Even though, I don't know. Call me a weirdo. You can call me a weirdo. So, um, the end of the week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to extend it till next Friday. So, not this Friday because I don't know if I'll get... I want to get a whip and chat up, but I don't know if it's going to be flirty Friday because i got to do the whip video. I'll do that tomorrow. So, get your whips in before tomorrow morning. Because I will be doing the video for that. Um, I'm going to extend the giveaway for the $225 gift cards if you bought a TSA till next Friday, my weekend off. So I'm going to extend it to that. Um, I need to get a hold of right now, if you are watching or if you're watching on the replay, Kathleen, that one from France. She lives in France. If you can get a hold of me on Facebook, hopefully she has Facebook, or I down in the description box below, I have my email. It's always down there. Email me. And um, Jennifer says, DP Addiction Adventure says that your address is not adding up that I got off of the website, and I don't know why. 
So if you can email me and then I'll just forward it over to Jennifer and then she can find out how much it's going to cost to ship it to you and get it out to you. Um, yeah, so if you can get a hold of me, this is Kath Kathleen from France. If you can get a hold of me, that would be very much appreciated. So, enough with the business. That's the business of the day. The business of the day. I got quite a headache, and I don't know why I'm getting these headaches. I think it's because my hair is getting too long, and I am always have it up in a ponytail. And the ponytail is pushing out my brain or something. I don't know. Is that even a thing? Can your ponytail push on your brain? <laughs> yeah, so um, don't forget to buy a painting for Lizzie along. If you enter right now and you go buy a painting and you put your entry in, I will still accept it for next week. The more people, the merrier. There isn't very many people on there, and uh, two lucky winners are going to get a gift card because... Not too many people bought any paintings this month or the last two months. So it is what it is. Um, extend it a little bit longer. Not by much. Two weeks. So that is pretty much it. Um... The draw, I think J Rob's J Rob DP Addiction Adventures is going to do the draw for the two grand prizes for the DP Beautiful 22 on her Friday show. So if you want to watch and see, she's going to take 15 from this channel. I don't even think there's 15 people that entered on this channel to tell you the honest truth. And uh, 15 from her channel, and then she's going to spin the wheel. And honestly, I don't think there was even 15 entries, to be honest. Um, you can enter on both channels, too. I don't know. She's just going to count you as one, or she'll count you as two. I don't know how she's working it. But that is the deal there as well. What other news? I got my my gnome here. He's my friend today. He's my friend today. How did you guys like? Did you guys watch that video and you saw I'm making these? I think these would be cute cover liners for um. Don't you think these would be cute cover liners? Someone asked me for them. She wants 10 of them. I've got six so far. You're getting the gray one. And I don't even care. <laughs> I got six so far. For my friend. She wants them for her channel. And uh, they're turning out really good. They're only one survived. It's actually supposed to look like this with the curved antennas, but when I pull them off the tray, they always break. So that's why they look like that, but I still think they look good like that. So far, only one survived. Oh, I lied. It just broke. So it didn't survive. See, this is why I cut them. Because they don't survive. And that is why they just look like that, because the curve doesn't survive. It's too weak. So there you go. What do you think about them apples? I like them. I really like this guy. He's my favorite color so far. Him and this one. This one I really like, too. I know I can't really see very well because of the color of my... 
of the lighting in here. But these two are my favorites. My favorite, well, I got magnets coming. Um, I did one out of the new filament, and I don't really care for it as much. And this hat got broken, but I don't know if I care for it as much. I don't really like this rainbow filament that we bought this time. I'm really not liking it. I like the other one that I had before, and I'd really like to get some of that one again because I don't really care for this new one. So, that. Oh, Cheryl, how are you, hun? Nice of you to stop by. I haven't seen you in a long time. Well, I'm here anyway. Oh, Luna's being grumpy now. Of course she's going to be grumpy as soon as I go live. Oh, today she was my best friend because I had ice cream. And I was feeding her ice cream. And her mom was getting mad at me because I was feeding her ice cream. <laughs> and I'm like, but Luna loves ice cream. I got to feed her some ice cream. She was liking it. It was... I don't know. This this is probably a Canadian um, ice cream, but it's called Moose Tracks. I don't know. Do they have Moose Tracks in the United States? I'm thinking it's probably just a Canadian thing, but I don't really know. But anyways, that was the ice cream that we were eating. I'm just going to be like, let's eat all my ice cream. Yeah, well, you snooze, you lose. <laughs> ah, we illuminate it. Ah. No. I'm making cabbage rolls for dinner, and I can smell them, and they smell delicioso. Always working. Happy to have caught you live, though. Yay! I don't think we have that in Manitoba. Really? Moose tracks? Ice cream? You could you could buy that from, you know, like do you eat chapmans? Um sometimes I do. When it's on, well, it's usually cheaper. When it's on sale, sometimes I'll buy it. Buy it. I buy whatever's on sale, really. Whatever's the good deal. I finished my dime painting for yours in Jen's event. Yay! Did you enter? I don't think I got 15 yet. Go enter in my channel last live video. Oh, it's not far from you. What is in London? London is a uh, Nestle's. Nestle's ice cream is in London. When I lived in London, my neighbor worked there. And she'd bring home ice cream from there. Yeah. I remember she worked there. That was a long, 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 long time ago. Like 20 years ago. <coughs> Do you work there? Probably not. Probably have a better job than that. <laughs> you probably have a better job than that. Uh, Working in the food industry sucks peanutish. Peanutish is peanuts. And Portuguese. Portuguese. Oh, you work from home. I need to get me a job working from home. Jeez Louise. What am I doing wrong here? Going freaking busting my 
buns off in the freezing cold temperatures. For what? For what, I tell you? Peanuts. Peanuts. <laughs> That's what I'm doing it for. Peanuts. Uh, at least they paid me my COVID pay. The last day off. Oh, my. I didn't tell everybody, but my boyfriend had COVID. But I did not catch it. I was fine. I checked and checked and checked and checked and checked and I, ha I haven't got it. But he just recovered and he had to go back to work and they conned him into working a lot of days and he's mad about it. And I'm like, well, you're the sucker that said yes to it. So I don't feel sorry for you. Because they like to take advantage of you. Advantage. But at least they paid me the one day because I stayed home the one day when he tested positive because I was scared. I'm like, oh, I don't want to go to work and give everybody COVID because that would just be horrible. Oh, that's, uh, I was like, what happened to my, my gnome? I bring my gnome back. So yeah, I uh, hope the internet's okay because we had no internet for like, Oh, the whole day yesterday. Now, I'll tell you, how do you entertain a two-year-old with no TV? Very hard. Very hard. My daughter used a lot of her data yesterday to keep Luna entertained. Um, for sure. So, it finally came on sometime. After I went to bed, and um, there was a power outage at work for like a split second, enough to like mess up the robot and everything. So it was getting close to, well, it wasn't really, it was half an hour before a usual break, but she always sends me for break early, that woman, and I can't stand it that she sends me for break early, because a day drags on even longer when they send you for break early. Ugh, hate it. But anyway, enough of that story. So I think the internet went out after that power surge. If you had cable. Only if you had cable internet. Alyssa still had internet at her work because they run off of Bell. Bell is like a provider here in Canada. Yeah, you wouldn't understand if you didn't live in Canada. Canada. And uh, it's like one of the oldest providers. Like that's where he would get your phone from way back in the day. Your home line was all Bell Canada. There was no other different kind of line. It was only Bell Canada. And that's all you could get. Do you remember those days? Jeez, I don't even have a home phone number anymore. Like, I don't have a landline. I just have my cell. Everybody in this house has a cell phone, so I don't see the point in paying two bills. So I don't have a landline. And I, when I first, when cell phones first came out, my boss said that at work. And I'm thinking, well, that's odd and strange. How could you give up your landline? And then uh, look at me now. I'm doing it as well. So it becomes a thing, I guess. I just didn't have a cell phone for that long to even think of it. I guess. I don't know. So, yeah. I have Rogers. Yeah, well, Rogers is what was down here. Uh, yesterday, someone cut the line or something. I don't even flip and know. But I was like, what the heck? I hope he is better now. Oh, he's, he, he still feels like, he feels sluggish. But here, I guess, after five days, you're good to go. According to the government. <laughs> so, he doesn't have a choice to go back to work. That's so funny to me, was no internet 
when my kids were growing up. I know. And there was no internet when I was growing up. Or, well, actually, when Sarah and Tyler were little, little, there was no internet. They actually went out and played. Outside in the fresh air. When did internet come? Um, 2000. I think the first internet we had was in 2000. I think was the first time we got a computer with internet. And they're just maybe Sarah's in grade one or two. So pretty much her growing up in her teenage years, she had internet. Of course, internet back then was a little bit different. Then now they had, what was that, MSN Messenger or whatever that we all did back then. And some, there's a fire or something because I hear, I hear the engines played outside. What's that? I know, right? My kids actually did play, like Sarah and Tyler did play outside. We lived on um, the street and all the kids, there was a lot of kids in the neighborhood. And I remember one time they were playing baseball in the, in the park. The park was like maybe two doors down from us and doesn't Tyler get hit in the head with the baseball bat and comes in screaming blood pouring from his head and I'm like freaking out because there's so much blood and he's freaking out because he got hit in the head had to take him to the hospital get stitches um, before that he had stitches as well he uh <laughs> I went to work. This is when I lived still at the co-op. Um, I just started working at um, the pharmaceutical job. So I was working a 12-hour shift, and my sister that was watching the kids. Yeah. Don't get your sister Yvette to watch your kids. <laughs> she, uh, it was Sarah and my niece, Chantel and Tyler, I don't know where Monique was. Monique had to have been there too. I don't even know. But anyway, they're on the bed or something talking. Tyler said, like Tyler told me the story after. And uh, he wanted to hear what they were talking about. And they pushed him into the closet and he cracked his head open. My sister Helen, not even a vet, my sister Helen. There's more engines. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can hear them. There's a fire somewhere. And um, hopefully it's not the Timmy song by the highway because that's where it listens. Um, so, yeah. That. He got stitches that time, too. And then there's another time. I got a lot of stitches in the head. <laughs> there's another time that I was getting out of the car and he was behind me and I didn't know he was behind me and I shut the door and I hit him in the head. More stitches in the head. <laughs> got him. And then the last time, one time he went and he's like, oh, this is like the third time I'm getting stitches. And I'm like, Tyler, like they're going to think I beat you or something. Don't tell people <laughs> that you got all this, all these stitches. <laughs> Madam Bell? No, I don't know what that one is. Oh my gosh, what the things that kid used to do, I tell you. I picked him up this morning and brought him home from work. He worked last night because he like texts me last night, Mom, can you pick up the dogs some dog food? Because, of course, you know, the dogs used to be my dogs. And uh, he took them when he moved out. 
and they didn't have any food. They're running out, so I had to go pick them up some food while he was at work. So in the morning, I went and picked them up and dropped off the dog food with them home. So. Well, Linda, how are you? I remember the phone just stuck to the wall with a short cord and we had a party line. Party line! When I moved out to the farmhouse, this was in 2000, it just ended. 2000 and I think 2000, 2001, we had a party line at first, but then it changed to just a regular line. But when we first moved out to the farmhouse, it had a party line as well. ICQ. Oh, my gosh. ICQ was so funny, too. That How did it go? Lip or whatever. Uh-oh. Remember that? Uh-oh. Or something like that. It would go when you got a message from ICQ. Uh-oh. That was funny. The good old days. The good old days. It just shows you all, everybody our age right now. <laughs> oh, the phone. I still got one of those phones. Now that you mention it, probably on my wall. I still have one of those rotary phones on my wall in my dining. Well, it's right now it's the living room because they changed it to the living room. And Luna likes to play with it. It doesn't work. I, I think it, well, I thought before if you press zero, you could talk to the operator, but I don't think you can even do that anymore. But yeah, it's out there and Luna likes to pretend she's talking to somebody on it. <laughs> it's still on the wall, but she climbs up on the couch and it's above the couch. So she likes to pretend she's talking to people on the phone on the wall. You know, my kids probably would never know what that was if it wasn't hanging on our wall here. And I remember um, before my mom passed away. So this was like 2000 and maybe four, five or six or something. Bell Canada. I called one time for Bell Canada. I don't know why I called them because my mom had something going on, a problem or something. They're like, well, um, does your mom just want to? buy out the phone for $15 because she's been paying monthly for this phone. And I'm like listening to him like for real. She's been paying all this time for this rotary phone on her wall and you want me to her to pay now $15 so she can have it out, right? Like that's savage. What do they have Bell in, in the United States as well? I didn't think they had Bell in the United States, but maybe they did. I thought Bell was just a Canadian thing. <sighs> Seems a right a passage for boys to get stitches in their head. Oh, well, Tyler got lots of stitches. That's <laughs> it. I'm surprised his brain still works. <laughs> so many stitches that poor kid had in his head. Ugh. I'm like, really, Tyler? Like, you're a walking accident. I'm surprised he hasn't got stitches in his head working. Well, at least a knock on wood. He's probably going to get now. He's probably going to get bonged in the head now because I said that. I think I want to do J for J. J Rob. I had so much fun doing that collab with Jennifer. It was like kind of sluggish, but I had so much fun. I had fun giving away all the giveaways. And I hope they get to everybody as soon as they can be. And uh, I know I still have to um, pay for um, the last bit because. Um, we're still waiting on the lady from France, so I know the grand total. So that's kind of why I put off, um, the giveaway for a couple more weeks, because I've been forking out so much money on everything. 
I just need a break. And it, and it's not even on diamond paintings. What the heck? I haven't bought anything to unbox or anything because I'm like trying to see if I can buy stuff at the retreat and then do like stuff from that I get from the retreat. That is my plan. That is my hopes. That is my dreams. No. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping to do. And I'm hoping it generates a lot of videos. That's my plan anyway. So. Hi, Wilma. How are you? Driving. Listening while driving home. Driving home. Be safe. Where are you driving home from? Maybe work. Maybe work. I don't have to work today. Yay. You know what? I'm going to have to. I miss Tia. Tia hasn't come into my lives in like, I don't know how long. Like, I'm starting to get a complex, Tia. I'm going to tell her that. I got to message her. And I miss her. I miss my Tia. Let's see she if she bought herself um, an RV because she when she does she has to come park it in Canada for a little bit. Park it in Canada. No bones broken. So just flush wounds. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Cheryl. I got happy mail yesterday. Yay! The everlasting tips from your... you. Oh, good, 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 good. She got happy mail. Do you like them? Do you like the everlasting tips? Did you have them already? Were they brand new or you had them already? Do you like them? See? Some of the gifts have gone out. I think, I actually, I think only Kathleen's is left to sort out. I know J-Rob was busy. I felt bad for her. Busy all weekend. Uh, doing all the prizes. I felt bad. And it couldn't help her more. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to do four next. Because I did my J's. I missed a whole bunch of U's earlier. But that ain't surprising. Because I'm always missing something. So, I don't know if you guys caught my video. But... What do you guys think of my cat? Well, I got a cat story too. I got a cat story while I hold my cat. So, on the weekend, I think it was the weekend, I'm sitting here in my craft room. I have the door open. I don't know. It was early in the morning. I remember that. People were still sleeping. I forget what day it was. But doesn't Marlo, Lissa's cat, come in here with something furry in his mouth? So, you know me, I'm definitely afraid of my <laughs> I freaked right out. I freaked. And I was like, Marlo, what is that? And I'm like running. And I'm running to my bedroom. And he's like following me. And I'm like, Marlo, don't follow me. He's like following me everywhere I'm going. And I'm like, no, get away, get away. And then I go into the bedroom and I'm like, I wake up my boyfriend. I'm like, I think Marlo has mouse. I think Marlo has mouse. And he's like, what, what? So he comes out and he's trying to chase the cat with a garbage lid that opens. I'm like, what is that garbage lid going to even do? Like, I don't even understand what he was doing with the garbage lid. But he's like chasing her. And then lo and behold, does not Marlo let go of it? And it runs underneath the couch. Well, wasn't I afraid all flipping day about the stupid mouse that's running loose in the house? And <laughs> but 
but uh, the next night he got he got the mouse downstairs and he killed it and he was playing with it oh marlo oh my gosh i was like flipping right the heck up oh i know he was like trying to bring it to me like look mom look what i got and i'm like no I'm like running away from the cat. The cats can't figure out why I'm running away from them. Oh, so needless to say, I got traps all over the house now because now I'm freaking out. Oh, yeah, that was my excitement. I hate this flipping house because <laughs> it's so old. It's got cracks everywhere. They just come in. Oh, so, yeah, that was my excitement yesterday so now in the morning I'm deathly afraid and every time I'm looking at my little's mouth I'm like don't bring me any more presents today okay and he was in the kitchen earlier today I'm like don't bring me any more presents he's just chillaxing like what the heck is your problem woman I'm like ah Benny tip was wonderful I won that last week but didn't hear from Jen yet I want to donate it. I don't know anything about that. One of my dogs brought in a baby squirrel. Oh my gosh. And his legs were broken. I freaked. Oh, poor little squirrel. That's the thing that animals don't understand. Like they want to have fun with them, but they don't understand that they're hurting them. Oh, I would freak out too. Sadie, don't you be bringing any squirrels in. Sadie got sprayed by a skunk once. That was horrible. Her breast stunk so bad. She got sprayed right in the face <clears throat> for like months. She had skunky breath. Oh, it was horrible. That's my daughter's dog. I'm like, but you ain't gonna go chase no skunks now. I think you, she learned her lesson. That is for sure. And she didn't even live here at the time. She lived. She was living with her dad when she was going to college. That's when he got sprayed in London. She come here for a visit. I'm like, oh, see, he stink. That'd be awful. I'm scared. I like, everybody gets mad at me because I like break. Eee! She's sneaking in for a minute. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, I always break like for a squirrel and everybody's like, why are you breaking? I don't want to run the poor squirrel over. Jeez Louise. I would, I would probably cry if I ran over. I've only hit, I've hit two rabbits before, like not both at the same time. But oh, was I so sad. When I hit those rabbits, because they ran right into my tires. I don't know what to do, so I called Animal Patrol and they sent somebody out. And on their way out, they got this corner. She looked back at me saying, You know, they're prey. Can't fix its legs. Oh, yeah. Everybody's saying hi to Jennifer. Hey, chat friends, missed you since Lizzie went and switched her times. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. But um, if you want to blame anybody, blame Susan because this time is because of Susan. So if you want to blame anybody about my new time, 
blame Susan because Susan is the reason why the time got switched because she had to go get a job. It's like, I guess she can't live off of my no income that I give her <laughs> for the job she does here so well. Meanwhile, I don't see her for a while now. I think she's slacking off. Like, what the heck, Susan? She's like slacking off. She hasn't posted anything and I don't know how long. I think she's screwed off on me. Uh, okay. Cheryl and Jen's got their squaring off fine. Um, yeah, see? And then do you guys wonder why I fire her all the time? Look it. She's nowhere to be found. It's so hard to find good help these days. <laughs> I tell you. So hard to find good help because she takes off on me every five minutes. Like, hello? She thinks she has a life or something. Like, I don't even know. Like, she thinks she has a life and she has things to do. Like, feed her family or something. I don't know what she does at this hour. <sighs> oh, she says, I'm here. Hello. Ah. Uh, You weren't here a few minutes ago. Am I frozen? Something's going on here. Some funny business happening here. Some funny business happening here. I don't think I'm frozen. Oh, whatever she says. Way to go, Susan. I think you just fired here. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Jill. So hard. So hard to find people. I tell you. She thinks she has a life or something. You know what it is. She's all confused about that confetti that she's got in front of her right now. She's like flabbergasted overcome herself because she picked a painting that has more confetti than a Chuck Pinson. <laughs> How many colors are in that painting to have that much confetti? Story of my life. I'm always fired. <laughs> no confetti sympathy. Oh, I'm just saying, it's because of all that confetti, you're ignoring me. Like, of all people, Susan, you're ignoring me. Like, hello? You shouldn't ignore me. There goes your bonus. <laughs> right? Say, yep, yep, yep. Look at the little flower on the back of its head. Isn't it cute? I love this thing. I wanted him to make another one for me, but he won't. What the heck? It's so pretty. And it turned out really, really good. I love the cat. My printing. My painting has 47. That's not too many colors. Susan, why are you crying? Why are you crying? That's not many colors at all. I think she's over exaggerating. I think she's over exaggerating on the confetti. You're telling me every single little square you have has 47 colors in it? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Susan? I'm finding it very hard to believe. But you never know. Okay, I'm actually multi-placing, guys. If they even let go of my pen. 
What are you working on? I'm working on, it's called Baby Doll from Distracted, Distracted by Diamonds. Um, it's my first painting from her. And it's around and it's big. And I don't know who the artist is. I tried looking, but she doesn't even have it on her website anymore. Nana. Diamond Nana gave me this painting as a present. Thank you, Nana, if she's watching the replay. Thank you for the present. And this is the one I decided to work on right now because I have no collapse or nothing going on. I don't know. There's so many um, alongs going on right now. I don't even know what's going on right at this minute. And I don't even know if this painting qualifies for it. Probably not. I think there's like, there's a Phoenix one going on. And I think one about dragons or something. I don't even know. J-Rob, no there isn't. Yeah, there's lots of them because I don't have that color yet. You can't even see. You're telling me you can see the numbers. You can't even see the numbers. I think she's just making fun of me because my camera's too high. You can't even see what the heck I'm doing. What the heck I'm doing? What the heck? What the heck are you doing? I need to... Bring you down closer, but then you can't see me. And like, I don't know. I just like it like this. And I just move the camera. Oh boy. Let's don't touch it. It's so weird watching myself <laughs> on delay. It's like I feel like deja vu <laughs> over and over again. I started a collab with me. <laughs> that's that's nice. <laughs> oh, you guys are funny. You guys are so funny today. What painting is that? So confetti heavy. She has one. It's a painting of a big cat. She pulled. You got to post it on my Facebook group, Susan. You got Happy Mail with DP with sparklers. Yay! We always like that Happy Mail. Happy, 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 happy. Happy Mail. I got Happy Mail too. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm lying now. I'm lying. I'm lying. I did not get Happy Mail. The last Happy Mail I got was from J Rob. All the stuff from the collab. That was the last happy meal I got. I'm going to cover mine up from Berta. <gasps> That's who's missing. Berta. She's fired too. She's Louise. She's, she's driving in the trunk now. She's driving in the pickup trunk. The back of the cab of the truck. <laughs> to the retreat because <laughs> she ain't here so i call shotgun to the back seat there you go berta ah yeah she did tell me she caught it oh i was afraid customs stole it no customs did not steal it <laughs> i got it uh yeah, Berta is going to be very cold. You better hope it's a nice breezy day. You better tie your hair back. I don't even know if she has long hair. Because <laughs> you're going to be cold in the back of the trunk. No, I'm just joking. I would never do that to you, Berta. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> What's that? A pig? A cat? I don't know what. A pig and a cat in a box with pumpkins? <laughs> is that what that is? I can't tell. Jack-o'-lanterns? What are those? All green this time. Sorry, had to jump off and back to work. Love you all. Bye, j -Rob. Go back to work. So overrated, I tell you. Why do we all have to work for a living? I just don't get it. It's a pig nose, a cat, a box. Bird is here. Oh my God. Her ears were flipping ringing. <laughs> uh, she, she heard her name because she's like, oh, I heard my name. Books are a pig's nose. It's a, it's a pig, a cat. A box and jack o' lanterns. <laughs> Look how she says a, a swine snoot. Bird is in the house now. I can't. I can't tell. I can't talk anymore that she's going to be in the trunk because she showed up. She's here. She was just sneaky, sneaky. She was just sneaky, sneaky listening while she's working. She's working so hard. She's working hard for her money. <laughs> so hard for her money. You better do it right. Why does it look like I got all my gems mixed up and crazy like over here? Sandy, oh Sandy, oh Sadie, Sadie, my my puppy's name is Sadie. Well, so is our dog. Sadie Bear is out there somewhere. Um, she's not my dog. She's my daughter's dog, but she might as well be my dog. She lives here. Call dibs. No, <laughs> Sadie's a really good dog. She is a very, 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 very good smart dog. She loves to play fetch. My gosh. Have you ever seen a dog want to play fetch so much like that dog? Meet Sadie. She goes outside with you, and all she wants you to do is throw her. And she's got this ball. No, well, actually, this ball was bought for <laughs> Luna. She bought her this really nice ball, and I think it had like the map of the world or something. I can't even remember what this ball looked like because Sadie's got it so ruined. So, anyways, Luna left it outside, and guess what? Sadie busted it. So now it's flat as can be, but she still wants you to throw the darn thing at her for her to catch it. Yeah. She, she's a border collie shepherd mix. She's black and white with a big snout. She's so beautiful. Anyways, she loves to play fetch. That's her number one favorite thing to do. Is to play fetchy fetch. She likes to play kitchy catchy catch. She's a good dog. Of course, Gigi didn't like to do anything but lie here and snore. And listen, to, so you guys could listen to him snore all day long. And that's probably what he does at Tyler's as well. But he does go for lots of walks now because Tyler doesn't have a yard. So they, he actually has to walk them. So they've been getting a lot of walking done. They still don't walk very good on the leashes, even though they've been walking all this time. But yeah, 
so they get a lot of walks in to go pee pee on the potty. I think I'm going to do seven because there's a lot of sevens. Yeah. No, that's a D list. What the heck? Yeah, he like he loves those dogs, I tell you. Tyler does. I love them too, but they don't live here anymore. Now I just got a cat that brings me unwanted gifts. That's what I got. <laughs> To deal with. So I have the cabbage rolls in the oven, but she didn't buy a very good cabbage, so I didn't get any really good leaves off of it until it got to the hardcore part in the middle. I feel like he picked a bad one because I didn't go get the cabbage he did, but. I managed to make at least a thing full. Nobody will eat them in this house but me and him. And I'm going to see if Luna will eat one. Because she don't know any different. Which, no. She might like cabbage rolls. Sarah and Dylan and Luna, uh, Alyssa don't like cabbage rolls. That's why I don't really make them very often. And um, it's Sarah's birthday today. She turns a whole 29 years old. Makes me feel older than heck because she's my daughter. And she's turning 29. I love <laughs> she's like, Mom, you had me at 19. I'm like, I know I had you at 19. But it still makes me feel old. Um... I got married at 18, had my first child at 19. Yeah, did everything early in life, which I don't want my kids to do. I want Alyssa to go experience college, what I did not do. Because I do not want her working at Bondwell. That is not what I see for her in the future. That is for sure. Oh, Lizzie, I am the only one in here. Not stuffed. Smurfed. Oh, not smurfed. I don't understand why everybody's smurfed. <laughs> but you. No. Melinda's not smurfed. Do you want to be smurfed? I can smurf you. Uh, there. You should be smurfed now. You should be smurfed now. Oh, I have a lot of, I have a lot of people as mods. <laughs> you are now smurfed. Check it out. See if, you, if it actually worked. So YouTube doesn't like me. See? Check and see if you're Smurf now. There's some people here that are Smurf that don't even remember Smurfing. <laughs> Goes you to show. Oh, now she is. Those two are still talking about the pig's note. I'm pretty sure that's what they're talking about. So, what's everybody up to this weekend? Got any big plans? I saw that um oh my god, let's get her name out of your head. I can't think of her name right now. Oh my gosh. Mindy. 
I see that Mindy's on vacation in the mountains. Her resort looks really, really nice. It makes me jealous. I wish I was on vacation for a week. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Liz, did you have to do that, sweetie? I was just making an observation. I don't flipping care. You can be, everybody can be flipping one if I could let everybody be one. I don't care. I'm going to start making you all work for me if you all got a wrench. Susan can go on vacation. Vacay! Susan, go on vacay! Don't say that out loud because she, then she's going to really think. <laughs> well, Susan, don't scare her with the wrench. Don't scare her with the wrench. Listen. Listen, Susan. Now Susan's going to think she's on vacation. You can't let Susan think she's on vacation. Then what's going to happen? Then what's going to happen? She already thinks she's on vacation. she's going to think life this sweet because she doesn't have to work I wish I was a millionaire I wish I was rich and I had piles of money and I never had to work ever again in my life and I could own a diamond painting company. Wouldn't that be a dream? It would be a dream for me. Listen, Lizzie. No, listen, Susan. Listen. Listen. You're not listening. You're not listening to me. Did she work today? So I don't think she worked today. I think she actually had the day off, didn't you? Ooh, I like this purple 154. It's one of my favorites. 154? 154 in purple. It should be 150. Isn't it? Isn't 150 purple? Not 154. Yeah, if I own the company I'm working, but it'd be a job that I enjoy. <laughs> Not a shitty job like the one I got. It'd be an actual job that I enjoy going to every day. That's what I think. Don't forget to buy your Lizzie Falcons, guys, so we can do the Lizzie along. It's going to be so much fun with my two friends. My two friends.
I miss Billy. He hasn't had a video up in like forever and a day. I miss him. Exactly. If you had a job that you love, then you would enjoy going to work. Not like my job. It's not very fun at all. So Lizzie along. I don't think she has any new ones coming out. But she had a few for I think there was one or two for the spring collection, but I only liked one of them. But um I only liked one. The one with the little heart. I think there's a heart in there or something. Or for girl. I think Susan bought it. Yeah, she always has two. Like it seems like Tuesday or Wednesday. I could train I could change Wednesdays for um earlier in the day if Susan has the day off. It don't matter to me any. Yeah, I like Lizzie Falcon. She's one of my favorites. I really liked Maria Maria Abigail, but she no longer is with TSA, which makes me sad. Now, five fifty is what I'm thinking. Five fifty is the purple. And this looks purpley too. Are you using carpet freights? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am. I am. I am. So. And, um, it is Herbert Freight. I am so, and I'm Canadian and I have Herbert Freights. Don't even ask me how I got them. <laughs> A lot of sweet talking. <laughs> oh, I want. You want? Well, let me know, Nancy, because I'm going to the States next month, and I'll pick you up some and mail them to you. Just let me know. Send me a message in Messenger, and I will get you some. As long as I get some, too. Lizzie, do you use the smaller containers that 24 comes in, or do you have hair that fits 54? No, I only have the ones that fit the smaller ones. I haven't got the bigger one. She's using her rephrase because you do not. <laughs> I'm not allowed to use my craft, my craft mates, but I only have one craft mate, and um, yeah. I like it too. Where is in the States, Lizzie? I'm going to the retreat. So Michigan and Ohio. That's as far as I'm going this time. Michigan and Ohio. I'm going to the retreat. No wind, no snow, no sleet. It's going to hold me back. I'm going.
No COVID is going to hold me back this time. I still got to download the app to get back into Canada. Yeah, whatever it is, can something. I still got to download it. Figure out how to do that. But I figure my sister Helen's going to the United States before me so she can figure all that out and then she'll let me know. She'll let me know all the things I need before I go. And then I'll be prepared to go. And the best part is, is that I can I can claim stuff coming back because I'm spending the night. So I can claim quite a bit, which I know I won't spend on the, at the retreat. So, I have the larger one that holds 54 and the smaller ones. Same price, so if it just kit up and down using one box for most diamond paintings. But you had to buy the box separately, right? They don't come in the bigger ones, right? You had to make it into the bigger one. Am I correct or am I wrong? Okay, finally heard you since you didn't wave, Lizzie. What? Berta, I've been talking about you this whole time. What do you mean? What do you mean? I've been talking about you this whole time. I hear noises outside. And I hear Luna eating. She makes those noises when she eats. The bigger one is five dollars, and then you put the little ones in the big one, right? Right? I'm pretty sure. How long have we been on for? A few more minutes, and then we're gonna call it a day. It's been an hour and a half time. Slot. And I gotta go check my cabbage rolls because they smell so good. I've been on the phone with Medicare. Couldn't hear you. I know you were. You said that. <laughs> you don't want to listen to what I said. I said I was gonna put you in the cab of the truck. Because I'm firing you because you weren't here. And then you showed up out of the blue. It's like you heard me talking oh. about you. I swear you guys hear me talking about you. And you pop up. Oh, she's here. She popped up out of nowhere. Good. Grumpy's home. I think he lived with like the dwarfs grumpy sneezy <laughs> um, all those people you know <laughs> no T and I were talking about it but you in the cab no 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 you guys I'll I'll drive my own darn car then I'll follow you guys how about them apples? 
I don't know. I was just going to leave my car at Billy's. At Billy's! Haven't you ever heard of that saying, nobody puts babe, babe in the corner? <laughs> Dirty dancing. Nobody puts babe in the corner. Nobody puts Lizzie in the corner. <laughs> um, hey, Birdie, make sure you bring your swimming suit. I want to go swimming in the pool. I want to go swimming. How long are you boiling your cabbage for this? Shh. My friend told me I had to put them in for three hours, which I think is way super long, but whatever. I'm following her recipe. I'm following her recipe. Swimming. We're going swimming. In the pool. In the pool, bring your swim trunks, because we're going swimming in the pool. Go swimming, I want to go swimming. You know what I really need to do is catch a tan. I am white as a ghost. No joke in there, guys. No joke in there. Swimming. I think I just got sick. What are you talking about? You don't like swimming, Berta? Come on, someone's got to go swimming with me. Can't go swimming by myself. What fun is that? You live by the ocean, Berta, don't you? You should love swimming. Alaska's by the ocean. I don't know if she lives by the ocean. <laughs> I'm sure Alaska is a big state. Bring your bikini, Berta. <laughs> Yeah. Nancy, I'm happy to pick up her refrains for you. Oh, look at that. Isn't she sweet? That's very peaceful. <laughs> I want to go in the pool. I don't stay for very long, but just, you know, to say I went swimming. Just to say I went swimming. Maybe Berta can't swim. Yes. I live on the ocean. See? You see water every day. You see water every day. Alaska is beautiful. I bet you it is beautiful. I've never been. That's way far away. That's way far away from me. Tyler was closer to Alaska than I was when he lived in BC. And he lived in British Columbia. British Columbia. I'm starting to feel nauseous. Florida, we have the ocean and a pool. Oh, I'm going over to Cheryl's house. <laughs> We're going to Cheryl's to go to the beach in the pool. That's where my sister's going next month. Florida. Hi, I have to go now, everyone. Have a great afternoon or whatever time it is for you. Hi, Melinda. I hope you have a great evening. Maybe I'll catch you in Tia's live. Because I plan on going. If she's going live, I don't even know. 
I'm assuming she will be. I'm assuming she will be. I got to go pick up Alyssa in one hour. One hour, one hour, one hour. One hour. What time is it? It's getting close to the end, guys. So we're going to wrap it up. Look at I got a lot done talking to you guys. I talk my head off and then I work, 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 and someone's coming in my room. How rude. Yeah, it's me. Yes. You said you watched her while we go out for dinner. Oh, I didn't know if you knew this. I thought it was a surprise. No, it's not. <laughs> I know, but I have to go get I have to take her with me. To what? Pick up Alyssa. What time do you have to pick up Alyssa? Six o'clock. It's five o'clock right now. Yeah, an hour. No, she's, she's at the highway. She can't walk. She's at the highway location. And now that's my key to go. That's my cue to go. <laughs> I have a great time. Would love to go back and see more of the state. That's awesome. Anyways, I'm going to go because those guys want me to babysit. So I got to head on out of here and finish my dinner. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and I will catch you guys later. Till next time, take care, everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, and if you like, please subscribe to my channel, I Be Super Tickle Pink, and remember to hit that notification bell, and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.